Hi, Rayma. It's week 52, day one of our Bible narrative reading plan. Today we have three short passages, and they all tie together the beautiful truths of the gospel. Each passage could be preached on its own, but for the sake of a video like this, I'm actually going to just read these three passages together. They're so powerful as you read them, uh, read them together and just let the weight of the words uh, have their effect on you, hearing them read aloud. And then uh, at the end, I'll read the summary that goes with these verses. I trust you've read these passages, but let the Lord bless you again through his word. Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, so you're no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. Titus chapter 3, verses 3 through 7. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, by whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that being justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This saying is trustworthy, and I want you to insist on these things, Paul says there in Titus. Then we go uh, to 1 Timothy chapter 1. This saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. But I receive mercy for this reason, that in me, as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display his perfect patience as an example to those who were to believe in him for eternal life. To the king of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, to be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. What glorious passages. I'm actually going to read the summary aloud for you as well. Not because I know you can't read, but because it's such a wonderful, uh, it's a wonderful summary. I didn't write this. The designer of the Bible reading plan wrote this. He says, Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Jesus, who is fully God and fully man, lived a life in perfect obedience to the law of God, thus earning the righteous, righteousness that no one person could earn, and died to take the punishment for sin. Those who trust in him are given his righteousness and the forgiveness that he secured. He now sits at the Father's right hand, waiting to come again to free his people from the very presence of sin. As we enter into this last week of our Bible narrative reading plan, what glorious truths we have learned about God himself coming to this earth to save us. Hallelujah. What a Savior. For more information, go to tunemyheart.org.